Hello guys, it's Paula and I'm back today to do a video um, with some collaging and use some of my images I don't have in my store yet. It's a slow process, or at least it is for my husband who's who's helping me with that. Um, so I, I know we've done some collaging for uh, my next design team project and so I just want to kind of refresh your memory. This was the file that we did that had the title beautiful. Now, when you bend like this, you're going to get a little bit of a wrinkle. Now, you can go ahead and put something over there if you want, but it's just par for the course, you know. It just happens. It's happened in several things that I've done. But this is the one that was a pre-made file folder, and I didn't like this side, and so I redid it and a few videos ago. And then on the back of this one, uh, we did some journaling, and I stitched around it. So this is what we're going to do today. We're going to do some um, old letters and um, the reason I chose to do that is because we haven't done them in a while. And I just love, I love getting to do them. I'm going to get my book out here for us to, um, we'll just use this one to put some ink on. Not ink, but glue. I'm sorry. Hello. It's not been that long since I've done a video. I actually, it's been, I missed a video yesterday because I had told you guys I had a stomach bug and that I was feeling better. So I did that last video. Well, bam, a couple of hours after that, I was so sick still with the stomach bug. And needless to say, I, it took me down and it wasn't until late last night that I started feeling better. I finally had to call the doctor. Anyway, so I'm better today. I actually have felt hungry today. Oh, this one, I thought it had something inside it. So these are so, these are some old envelopes. This one is uh, postmarked November the 29th, 1959. So that one's old. Now this is just a, um, it's from 1992, but I found these little uh, uh, envelopes, and it says, it tells you on here about this particular type of hummingbird. I'm going to take that price tag off. Okay, and I just thought we could collage around him and include him. And look, even has the stamp. Um it's not been postmarked, but we'll get it all messy and make it look like it was at some point. So, there we go. We're going to, let's work on this old one first, though. So, I'm thinking we'll still go with the same type of process where we'll just use some of these pastels. But now, I want to leave some of this writing in here. And um, in order to do that, we have to... Um, leave that space open, but kind of covered up so you don't have anybody's name for the world to, you know, not like I'm hiding it right now because, you know, these people have passed by now. And, um, and I can't imagine anybody at this point would know them. I would be interested if they would, they did that, you know, be kind of cool. Okay, now we're just going to use these pastels, and I want to use the pastels because that's what's in Tracy's kit that I'm using, and I just thought it'd be, it's kind of nice to get to do something that's not, um, you know, the basic browns and all of that. So we're going to just do this one pastel. And I'm also going to flip through some of these pages that I've, I've prepped. These are not the final copies of, um, they're not the final copies of 
how it's going to end up. Now, I kind of like putting that on that corner because it still shows everything nice. All right. So I had asked you guys if you wanted to do an altered book. I got a couple responses, but I didn't get one from that many. So if you're interested in seeing a process of an altered book, which basically is, um, is where you take a book and you keep the pages in and you take so many of the pages out and then you journal in it and you can do there's all kinds of things you can do uh, as far as the journaling goes this person wrote really far apart like the space was very far apart so i'm going to go with trying to hang on to the portion here that I can keep the majority of the name in, or a big part of it. Okay. Let's go up here a little bit. Now, on the front of this, as you can tell, I'm not really doing any browns. I'm just doing the pastels. And then on the reverse side, we'll do the more of the journaling stuff. Let's see, I think we need to go with a green of some sort, maybe. We'll see what this ends up looking like. Now, I think we're going to cover up here. Um, it's hard to know what you want to cover, isn't it? It's like, man, I kind of like those stamps. I don't want to cover those, not really, and um, so I'm trying to think of ways to get those laid down here. Okay, we'll just do it like this. Well, let's pull that up a little bit. Oh my goodness, you guys, we had storms. I don't know if you've listened to the national news. If you're not from Oklahoma, we had one tornado after another, another. I think the tornadoes went through areas that I've lived in once in my life in this part of the uh, city. And um, it was just crazy. It was like one tornado after another. They said it was very rare situation that we were in and I believe it um, needless to say it was an exhausting night for the weathermen but it was exhausting for me too I, I I told my husband I want to go to bed I don't feel good you know and uh, finally he was like you go to bed I'll stay up he had to stay home with me yesterday guys I was just so sick have you ever just been so weak that you know you knew you couldn't do in i knew i couldn't take care of feeding the dog or taking her outside or even taking care of myself you know it i was i was just exhausted so today i have not been moving very fast I was going to skip doing a video, but I decided I couldn't stand it. I had to. I miss it when I don't do them. And um, so, yeah, it was crazy. I, I haven't heard a final number, but we still are in the line of some storms, even now. And it's like 2.30 in the afternoon. So that tells you. It's been pretty wild. Okay, now I want to add a little tiny bit of red. A little tiny bit of red. Maybe right through here. Okay. 
think I'm just going to put it right down here. It's not going to be a big piece, just a tiny piece. I want to kind of bring out the red that's in that stamp right here. The, the blue cross are showing, showing that the blue, this is, listen, this stamp, I don't know if you can see. Let me get it up there. Can you see what's in that stamp? It's stagecoach. Stagecoaches is what's in that stamp. And that always makes me wonder, hmm, how old is this really? You know, I don't know how old that stamp is. It doesn't say on the actual stamp. But my goodness. Yeah, crazy. Oh, 1859 is what it says. I found a date. And on this one, of course, I'm sure this is when the original stamp was made. On this one, it is, I'm trying to see some other country. I don't know. It says 1859. Hmm. That's crazy. Crazy, crazy. Okay, I still think we need something kind of come over in there let's do these let's do this heart paper uh, let's see uh, I might want to tear that differently might want to tear it just straight across You know, it's hard to know when you start tearing this stuff exactly how you want to do it. I just don't want to lose the name. That will be perfect right there. There we go. I hope you guys are having a much better day than than I've had the last few days. <laughs> um, you know, it's just there a Memorial Day's next weekend, and they're opening the pool. And you know, we don't. I don't go swimming. Oh my word! I I would not want to scare anybody in the neighborhood off. But um, my grandkids usually enjoy it, and um, and I enjoy that they come over and swim, and you know, it, at least our portion of the pool gets used. And what they're going to have is this little derby. They have a fishing derby in our pond. We have this huge pond uh, that goes around the inside of our our uh, addition. And we set, we are actually one of the houses that set on the pond. And um, so that's nice. It's a nice walking trail and, you know, it's fun. Um, but anyway, so they'll have this fishing derby for the children, which is so much fun to watch. I just kind of sit on the patio and enjoy it from the patio. But... Um, those little kids get so excited when they get a new fishing pole. <laughs> Whoever wins each round gets a fishing pole and a tackle box. And, of course, the, um, the whole neighborhood gets fed, you know, hamburgers, hot dogs, you name it. They have it. And um, it's kind of fun. Kind of fun. Kind of fun. Okay, so let me see if I can get this off. Do you ever get a catch in your wrist? I have a catch in my wrist today, and it's just tender. I don't know what's causing that. Okay, see, now here we go. We're finally getting to the point that, you know, we've practically got it covered up. And I really don't want to cover it up. This isn't my favorite card, I can tell you so far, that I've done. 
um, I'm going to pull some of that paper off of that, the one underneath. That stuff sticking to me. So, let's let this dry and then we'll come back and um, finish doing what we need to do to it to make it look... I'm going to go ahead and trim this off real quick while I can see the envelope itself. Once I get this side covered, you know, it's kind of hard to trim around your envelope. Okay. All right. Now, it's different, huh? I don't know. It may come out to be something I like. You know, I like anything different. Now, here on the back, we have an address. Um, and I think it's another language because I can't read it, which is okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay, so let's add some of this black down one side. I'm going to lay that there for now because I want to plan this out. And then... I want to put across the middle of, or down below here actually, but in the middle, this um, I thought something cut my 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 uh, camera off for a second. So this goes right across here. Then we're going to, I think I'm going to tear some of this off. I don't want it to be quite that wide. Okay. Put that there. Slide this under a little bit. Yeah. Kind of wanting to go with more text uh, things on the back which is kind of how I do it. Okay. Let's do like this. Yeah. I'm liking that. Um, let's see. How about we put a little bit of yellow back here? I don't think we put much yellow on the front, if any. Let's see. Let's put that there, and I don't think I did that right, but let's see. I kind of want it to run up over this name a little bit. Okay, and then over here we can add a little bit of this, this blue right in there. Kind of hard to lay it down when you don't really know which one's going to go down first. So I think... I'm going to put this yellow down first. Didn't mean to get quiet. I was just kind of trying to concentrate on how I can kind of cover up some of this. And let's go ahead and put this down. My paper is getting sticky. I think I'll turn that over and start on another page. Got to break down and, and figure out how I'm going to finish the closure on the flutter book. And then I'll be doing a flip through of that. So, let's see. Right there. Let's see. 
kind of want to slide that in into that area on that side. And then let's put this black tax. My desk is so cluttered. I've got I've got a custom order I'm working on which takes a lot of of time and space. It takes a lot of my space here and um it's fun, but it's you know I kind of have to find a little space to get in to do my videos. And basically, I blame it on my different projects to work on. But in reality, it's me not cleaning up my mess prior to the last project. Or not very well, I'll put it that way. I'm running out of space. It's, I think it's a problem all us crafters go through, but I don't want to get rid of anything. I, I feel like at this point... I got rid of a bunch a few months ago, but at this point, um, I feel like there's nothing I can get rid of right now. So who knows, we'll see, we'll see what happens. I gotta cut this off, it keeps wanting to curl around the envelope to the other side, and we don't need it to do that. Okay. Let's just trim all of this while we are doing it. And that way we know what we've got left to do. My poor little scissors, I wipe them off, but they just keep on trucking. I don't know. I keep thinking that they're not. I'm trying to find some music sheet over here in my stack. I never go without putting music sheet in the stack, but right now I'm thinking I might have. Let me see. It's in here, I know it, there it is. It's not big pieces, but it's enough. Okay, let's go down this way. Well, I wanted to like it's just attacking me guys I want to do um, hmm I think I want it to come on over like that yeah all right just kind of hold it right here Trim that off so we can see where we're at. Okay. I think we need a little something across here. And I think it needs to also be some kind of um, journaling paper of, of sorts. Let's see. Don't want to use the same thing we just used. Here, let's use this brighter. Looks like an old piece of notebook paper. It's just a little section right here. Yeah, there we go. That looks pretty good. I'm thinking, though, I don't like that space across the top. So let's find maybe a pink, maybe a little bit of a pink or blue. No, we've already got blue. We don't want to use that again. I had this great piece of pink paper. Now it's like buried. I'm, I'm guessing it's buried. Let me find it here, just a moment. Oh, here's one that would look pretty. It's always fun to run across something different, huh? Okay. 
this has kind of a mix of all the different colors that I'm kind of look, wanting right now. Let's see. I don't want that much cut off. We'll do right there. Okay. Sorry, I can't have my inking book over here, but it's it's pretty large this time. Okay, and then this last little piece. Let's see if that's, no, I don't like that. This is when I'm really not sure. I'm just trying different things. Let's see what happens with this. Okay. There. I still have a little bit peeking out, but I really didn't want this side to be, you know, the the decorative side to speak of. So I'm thinking, as far as decorating goes, I want to see what I have here in some of my, um, you know, where you sit and cut out your goodies. Fussy cut, I fussy cut a bunch of little goodies and I wanna use one on this book or in this envelope. Ignore me, I am still out of it a little bit okay so I know we don't want this because we're gonna do some stamping up here and maybe we should do the stamping first let me get my ink right here now I always have to look at this before I stamp this is what what it looks like I always have to look to see which side's up and which side's down. Now, I just I just fake it with this thing, to be quite honest. It just, so it gives it a look, you know, and I don't even care if I have a dozen on there. I just kind of like it to, now I'm not going to put it on this side. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, now that's, that's the stamping portion. That took all of a couple seconds. Okay, so now we can go ahead and decide what we wanna put on the front. Let me move this glue out of the way. And I'm gonna fold this paper, glue paper, gluey paper over because I keep sticking my arm in it. Don't want to do that. Okay, so we have pink, which is, really kind of pretty, isn't it? We have a lot of colors going on the front. Uh, so we may end up having to, well, here's a couple other colors. Maybe we want to put a little, let's see what we got down here. <coughs> Excuse me. This rose has some multicolors in it. Yeah, I like that. Now do we want it kind of slanted? I think that looks good like that. It still kind of slants over the other the words. Let's do that. Okay, that was easier than I thought it would be. These are just um, various digital files that, some clip, uh, clip art files that I went through and I just printed different ones. I had to purchase them, of course. I don't have the information in front of me, but you just get on like I did. I got on and just started going through. And you'd be amazed at how many things are are not that expensive in the clip art. How many things you can actually use. So I'm gonna put it right here. 
I like that it has a fuchsia and a blue and kind of a pink in it, which goes with everything. Yeah, I like the way that turned out. Now, I want to look at my labels. Let me put these little fussy cut items back. Set those right there. And, ooh, I'm liking the way it's looking. I don't even have to add another stamp because it is coming out just fine. Let me get my little labels. Now, the question is, do we put a label? Let me open this up. Do we put a label on the front or do we put it on the back? I think the front looks pretty busy, so I think we need to come over here. And I'm thinking a label up in here would be kind of cool. Let's see what we got. I bought some, um, these are Tracy's, some of those that I just went through. I bought these cute little uh, canning from the old, uh, the old design shop. I brought the, bought these little canning labels, which, you know, they're all, they all have a little bit of a different design on them. Well, not all of them, but there's several different designs. So I'll pull some of them out so you can kind of see. They're all this same shape. Um, that's kind of in the middle. I really am wondering if I don't need, see here some other different ones. They're just, you know, I like this one the best, I think. And I actually think I like it right there. So let's do it. Okay. Now, another thing you need to remember that you can add when you collage is um, lace or trim. Sorry if I was off camera just then. I didn't even realize it till I lifted it up. Now, I know that that's a small tag. Look at some of these others. There's one. They're kind of a um, cranberry red but or pink. They almost look pink, too. So, um... That one was kind of small, but that's all right. I like the way it turned out, and as long as we like what we pick, I guess we're doing okay, right? Okay, now, I feel like it needs a little something else. Um, question is what? Let's look at some of these little Tim Holtz little birds. See, that kind of takes away from the, um, yeah, I don't want that. Maybe we should do a little bunny. I've got these cute little bunnies that are stamped on um, fabric or muslin. And I like to throw them on every now and then. Or maybe not. Never know. Can't decide sometimes. I think we're just going to put it right there, down in that one little spot. If I can get the glue spread on the back. And it poured out. Now, I was going to put it over here, but I like the way this little bunny is looking off that to the, to the right. I think maybe I should stick it down here. Because he needs to be looking in the right direction. Of where something is going on. He will dry. He looks blue right now. But he will dry clear. Yeah. So there we go. I like the way that turned out. The back is just okay. You know. I don't get into the back as much as I do the front. I don't know how you guys look at it. But. Uh, it's kind of with everything, you know, the back is always 
the one that doesn't look as good as the front. But then, if you buy a beautiful dress and you want it to have that certain look, um, like another thing you need to remember too when you're doing these collages is that you can use um, different trims, different, just you know, anything. I'm just going to look at my little scrap bag here and see if there's anything exciting that might look good. See, like this, this, uh, this lace is pretty, but it just, it doesn't go with what we're doing right now. Not really, although I do kind of like it. Um, it's like you, you can't get enough. You just can't stop that kind of thing. Hmm. Well, I think we need to stop on that one. I think we, the more, sometimes you keep adding it, it just ends up looking worse, you know? All right, so that is our very first uh, envelope. Now, the second one we're going to do is with the hummingbirds. Now, I was telling you, I was going to show you um, some of my, my digitals. These will be coming out into my Etsy. I can't give you a time because my husband can't give me a time. I've had him scan them all for me. And so I'm just, so I've got quilt tops that are being scanned. Different quilt tops and um, so forth. You know, just to be a little different. And then I love this one here on the top. And you've got this one, several really cool ones. And I've got more that I haven't even gotten to yet. But there are several different colors of these. And I'm trying to think, what color do we want to use? Maybe this one will be good. We'll use that one. Um, and then it goes on and on. I'm just going to kind of flip through and show you here. And um, if you think that they're worthy of being put in my shop, I will do it. I don't plan on being outrageous. Boy, I ran upon some that was outrageous. You know, so these are just, like I said, these are rough copies that they won't necessarily be centered this way. They'll be centered other ways. But, um... Yeah, there's just, these are doilies that I've got here. Some of them are um, other things, too. Quilting, doilies, quilt squares. I've got trims. I just don't know where the trims are. I must not have the trims out here with me. Some of them turned out not so great, so I, I said I'm not using those. And... Um, and I just kind of took the rejects to use in my stuff. <laughs> Not all of these are rejects, but look at how that black one turned out. I thought it turned out really pretty. And this one, I love that. I might use that this time. And then we have this. A little bit of purple going on. We have linens and we have hot mitts. Um, we have long table doilies or linens. Here's a handkerchief. Now, like I said, these are not centered. I just laid these on and made copies. I started off to make copies for myself. This one's pretty. Um, so my husband's going to, he rescanned everything appropriately. And, and I'm going to have some old vintage, um, these are just the rejects, but I'm going to have some old vintage pictures that are, some of them are from the 1800s and, and uh, so forth. But anyway, okay, so let's get busy. Now, I think I want to use some of these because if you look, there's in this hummingbird, see, he has a little bit of orange and kind of a grungy look. So I figure... We can give him a little bit of grunge off our paper here. Now, i got to get my book back over here. 
Let's put it on this side. Okie doke. Okay. So. All right. Let's see. And see, I kind of like, I like doing the, um, the digitals because you can, when you get someone who's made a, uh, digital that is going to be all the colors you need. It just makes it lots easier. You still want to tear it and put it down the appropriate way. But this does not have an address here, so I'm not going to do anything but try to save the picture and the stamp and uh, see where we go from there. And um, some of these are on thicker cardstock. So, it takes a little more glue to get them down, and that's okay. What? It's just glue. It's just glue. And I may even end up pulling out more than, whoops, I'm sticking to everything here. Pull out some other papers, too. I've got a lot of things printed um, that I want to use. I just haven't got to that point yet. Um, so let's see. Let's do a long skinny one. And then we can go to another color. I did lay out some of my trims with a few of my favorite laces. Um, some of them turned out good. Some of them we had to rescan, but my point, I guess, is that um, you can even at home lay out, just put yours in the printer and print them. They're not going to look as good as what you would get in a digital, but hey, they would be workable, right? Okay, here's a little bit of this blue doily I had left over, so let's use it too. We'll just make this a, a collage of doilies and quilt tops and whatever else we need it to be okay i haven't seen my grandkids in a while it's just been one of those years that you know school years that have been really busy so i've got to start i usually when they're out of school i try to have them all over individually to spend the weekend and and we run them here and there take them places they don't go normally you know and just because moms and dads are busy but um yeah so i'm excited to get that started once i get over my stomach bug a hundred percent lucy's coming on thursday her mom I guess needed me to, or Lucy told her mom that she missed me. So that's all it takes. They just have to say, I miss you, Grammy, and they're over. <laughs> Any of them. I, one thing I can say is I love my grandkids. I'm sure you all feel the same way. Well, good grief, that one didn't tear right. Let's start that over. Okay. course it's got this little trim on the side I'm gonna trim this so I don't have with my scissors so I don't have to try to tear that little tiny bit right there I think I want to put some of that here the DOG and the reason I spell that is because it will come she can she knows her voc. She has a vocabulary, and I don't want to get her to wake up. But she's been sleeping most of the day today. I think she's worn out from the storms last night. <laughs> little poor little thing. Okay, that's not going to work there. Okay, so let's put a little bit of this right in here. And if I overlap. 
that doesn't bother me all that much either. Okay. Mostly I just want it to have a different look. And that's why I wanted to use, um, now see, I don't like, I don't like it when it has these big white places. Um, so I'm going to try to tear that. I probably won't have much luck. Which means I'll have to end up putting something over it, but that's okay. I don't like the way it looks. So I'll cover it with something else. Oh, here's a little piece of something. Let's see what it does. Yeah, it'll work. That's why I tried to tear the right direction. And uh, this has little white pieces on it too, but it's not as bad. Now, on the back of this envelope, it tells all about this, this hummingbird. But I'm not worried about keeping that. I know enough about hummingbirds that I don't feel like I need to know anything else. I love them. I don't know about you guys, but I really enjoy the hummingbirds. Okay. I think I want to do similar to this. Ah, oh, they're the right way, Paula. Let's see. I kind of like this creamy part of Okay. I'm kind of in the middle of several different projects and I really want to try to finish up the ones that are close to being ready just so that I can have some space if you know what I mean. It's crazy. Um, I feel like I can't even see where anything is. <laughs> I've got such a mess going everywhere. Okay, so now we've got this little tiny piece around here, and I do want to cover it because everything around it's covered. I'll let that dry. Let's see, let's do some... I left the TV on in the living room, so I keep hearing the TV. Makes me think someone's here. We've got this piece right along here, which really, hmm. I want to get some of this yellow that's in the very middle of the quilt square. It's not actually a square, but... Okay, let's do it like this. Let's see. Now, I'm just going to put the glue on this one portion and then I can add wherever else I need it. Okay, let's trim that off. stuck up against there okay there we go 
and that's a little different. I just thought I'd try it with just the same colors in different directions and just see how it would turn out. Got a little bit up here to do. Let's use this yellow. Let's use this yellow. Kind of reminds me of covering one of those seed packs. You know, all the going around the 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 acetate on uh, cover. You know that or pocket that they have inside those. All right. Well, that's kind of cool having that with the hummingbird. You know, he just looks like he's collaged right in there. And I like that. I feel like we need um, to put a little bit of postmark on there for sure. Maybe we won't put as much as we did last time. Well, that didn't turn out as great as I would have liked it to. Let's see. Hmm. I'm just going to do it one more time. I get carried away. I like it with a lot of them on there. Okay. Um, now, I don't think we have anything small enough in my little um, items here. Let me look real quick. Oh, there are some small ones. Let's see. But they're mostly roses. I haven't got to my other florals yet. But I do have uh, a lot of different red things to cut out. I just haven't got to them all yet. Okay, so, you know, I think this also would be a good place for a butterfly. And so I've got this butterfly I, I pulled out of my scraps. And I thought we could put this butterfly on the front if I didn't find flowers that I liked. So I'm not going to worry about the, um, the, the wings or the antennas. I'm going to just trim right around the antennas and I'll add those on with a marker. Let's see. There we go. Come on, little butterfly. Okay, so here's how the butterfly turned out. And I'm just going to kind of plop him here in the middle. I don't, I'm not that particular about where he goes. I think I'll let him cover up some of the postage um, that I stamped. Not that I don't like it, it's just think he'll look cute on there. Then I'll get a little marker. You want a thinner tipped marker to kind of add her antennas. And yes, I said her. It's a her. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Okay, and so this is this side. Now on the other side, we don't have to leave anything exposed. Um, so we can cover as much as we want. So let's see. We know that we liked, I, or at least I like this text paper. 
So I want to put it on here, maybe off to the side. And then I have this tissue that I got in an order the other day. You know, can't let anything go to, don't throw anything away. And um, so I'm gonna use that. Actually, you know, I think of hummingbirds, I think that they would be great little um, birds to just play orchestra music with. I think I really want to use that whole piece right there. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Now you could decoupage. You have to be more careful when you're putting the glue on um, tissue because, you know, it's more fragile. So I'm going to get it all the way up to the top where the envelope back ends. Or as close as I can. Oh yeah, I like the way that looks. That turned out nice. I'm going to trim that off because it wants to flip over. I need to take a day and do some of the... Um, Tracy had done some cute little... Tracy Fox had done some cute little miniature items that she, she collaged. And I really like the way they turned out. Cool. <laughs> mm, I think I like it the other way. Okay. We'll put some text paper on there. So I have a place to journal. think that's the last that we can get out of that uh, <laughs> book page. It's pretty sticky. So how many of you guys watched American Idol? I know a lot of people uh, didn't used to watch it, but it's, they, you know, they say it's better now. I, I can't really see the difference in now and before we watched it both times. I think what I like about it compared to The Voice, I mean, The Voice has some great singers come out of their cast, but um, American Idols are just simple little kids wanting to have a chance in music, which I, I really like the, the fact that, you know, um, Okay, there, got that page ready. Okay, so that they have an opportunity to do something fabulous with their life, you know. And they're, they're little nobodies and they come from little podunk towns and, and they have that opportunity, which I think is awesome. Okay, so we're gonna put this at the top here and it does have a little bit of the same quilt top, but that's okay. We got a, quite a bit of, you know, brown tones already, so. Okay, getting close, getting close. Let's find some more little pieces to kind of just put around in here. See what that looks like. Okay. I 
I'll probably start with my Lucy will be coming on this week and then I'll probably start with my other granddaughter coming the next time. I don't know. I haven't sat down and looked at my schedule yet, but it's not like I've have a life that things can't be canceled every now and then. No, I don't like that. I don't like this part on here either, though. Anyway, they had the finale, I guess, night before last, or Sunday night, I guess. And the person I was rooting for won. His name was Wade. No, Lane. I don't know what it is. Lane Wade or Wade Lane or I don't know. He was just a cute kid from the bayou, which... I thought made it fun too, you know. Okay. I mean, he was used to wrestling alligators and fishing and what most boys his age would do, I guess. <laughs> okay, so on this back side, I want to add a piece here that's um, one color. And so I think I want to add, and then I've got this big piece, so I thought, well, maybe I'll do this big piece. I don't know why my wrist is barking at me. Okay, that wasn't big enough, so that means this piece won't be big enough. So let's just tear down this, this long part of this quilt top and see what we end up with. Now, I don't mean that it has to go underneath and all that. I just mean that I want it to be like one, as close to one big piece as possible. I think what I'm gonna do is trace around it. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm going to do. I can find my pencil underneath all this paper. And my glue will not stay on its on its end, so I, that tells me it's probably getting low. And um, I just go through that glue like crazy. I don't know about you guys. Now I'm just gonna put this down as one whole piece instead of tearing it and trying to get it to all fit inside this envelope, you know. Let's see. Let's put this right here. It's just slightly too long, so I'll just trim it on one end. I may have trimmed it too much, but that doesn't matter. I just want it to be smooth. Yeah, that's close enough, right? Come on, lay down there, cooperate. <laughs> you know, anytime you put glue on something, it's not gonna be easy to get it where you want it when it's on the inside of something. But you just have to play with it till you get it right. And then you always can trim off any that is excess. Yeah, see, that wasn't perfect, because you can see right here, 
I'm just going to trim this. I'll make my own shape. You know, it's not enough that to be concerned about. And then if there's any hanging over, but nope, that was pretty close on that side, which I'm surprised. We forgot to do this side. But now see, you want to go ahead and bend it while you know that it's going to need a bend in it. And while it's not hard already and dry, that way you'll have... But see, I like the way that all turned out, you know. And over here, I'm thinking we could do something more on, yeah, this. I like this color, but I think I want to, I'll find something to put on there that's not colorful. How about we use some of this tissue? Use some tissue. Since it's on the outside, it won't be as difficult. I think I don't care what direction this is. I'm just going to draw it around like we did the other side. And just use this tissue with the music sheets on it. All right. Let's just trim this part first. And really, it's just the side. Because until we add it on, we're not going to really know where the... Um, how much we want to trim down. Because I'm just kind of... Hitting and missing. All right. Now I'll trim down the very straight edge of it. Then I'm not worrying about it because I know it's not going to be that wide. Okay. Now. Let's see what we got going here and then we can trim it off and have it all ready. Perfect. Now, how I'm going to do it is I'm bending it over, making sure it's lined up here. Yeah, it's lined up enough, and then I'll trim it after it's got the glue on it and it's stuck down. All right. There we go. That's close enough. Now, when you bend this down, this is going to come up. The tissue is, and you're going to have to trim the sticky tissue off. You want to be careful because you can yank the whole thing off if you're not careful. Okay. Now I'm going to trim up here anything that's sticking up on this side and under here. I tell you, when we were watching the news yesterday as these funnels were developing, you could watch them and they'd develop into one right in front of your eyes. It was like, ooh, creepy. I don't really like these two white spots right here, so I'm going to use some of this tissue. 
that seemed real easy to put on right there. Kind of hide that bright white. And I'm just going to, looks like that piece is not down very well. That happens when you have thicker. So if you're going to use, for instance, I'm going to use mine as an example, but you can use this, do this with anybody's digitals. Um, you want to, um, if you're going to use it for collaging, you want to print it off on the right uh, paper. And I would write, I would do it just on regular copy paper or maybe a little heavier, but not much. Your colors aren't quite as bright and brilliant, but it, it will stick down easier. See, I don't really want all that on there, but it looks like it's gonna be. Before doing collaging, I would never have used a glue stick for anything. You know, I've just never thought it would stick or hold. I guess it, just like everything, you gotta buy the right, the right type and strength. <laughs> that does make a difference. You see, that looks better covering up that white, even if it's not perfect. There we go. All right, now we gotta decide, do we want a label on this back side? Or, kind of still kind of wet right there. Straighten that up just a little bit. There we go. Now like you can see right in here that we didn't get down very far in here. Um, you could go back if that bugs you and put something down in there, but it's not bothering me. Nobody's gonna notice it or care. It's kind of what I think. That's my thought on it. Okay, and you can ink it if you want. You could ink it as you go along, but I think with pastels, it just looks better when it's not inked, especially. Uh, so we have our butterfly and our hummingbird stamp and our hummingbird picture. So over here, I'm gonna look and see if we have any kind of pink or blue label and see what we can come up with. Pink or blue. It's not like they're, um, there's some, I have some little ones, but I don't think they're going to be, big enough. That's pretty bright. I like that one. Okay, and we can always calm it, the brightness down by putting a little bit of ink on it if you want. Okay. It's funny how the label just kind of became part of our collaging. I don't know who started that. I think it was Rachel. <laughs> but it does, it does make a difference in how it looks, you know? When you have a label or don't have a label. Oh my goodness. I have glue all over the front of this label. Let's try to clean that off a little bit. Yeah, that matched pretty good, actually. I just didn't have any bigger ones. I 
All right. So, let me fold this page over. Let me hold this up where you can see. Yeah, I got a little carried away with the stamping. You know, sometimes you can do a collage and you love it. Now, like, I like the back on this a lot. I not I don't like the front so much. I should have picked a hummingbird with pinks or blues flowers, and it would have looked better. Because it's kind of odd. Now, this does kind of look like it goes with the flowers, but... I messed up the first stamp. That's why I added that other one. But it's all right for what for what we're doing it for. It's just for fun. And um, what did I do with the other one? Here is the other one, which I think turned out better than this one. They're similar, but they're going in the same color. Um, a book that's going to have those colors um, more of a pastel in those colors but that's all right well we are running behind it is one hour and 17 minutes nearly so I'm gonna let you go and I'll see you in the next video I hope you enjoyed this video and if you haven't subscribed please join us and thank you to all my subbies I appreciate you so much See you next time. Bye.